Welcome to season two of Hear Me and Bear Me. We're here at Black and Gray Tattoo Studio, here to interview my guy Lito and get tatted. Let's ride. Ready to get interviewed. I'm on my way. Yeah. And I got a better mic. Okay. Well, what is, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Try to tell the people that, you know. We're not afraid of you, are. It's good. It's good, man. You? All right. Chill. Push. Welcome to my crib. Dad. You want me to relax with you or what? Wait, why aren't you drink? Or you're not drinking beer or what? No, I don't drink no more. Well, I thought you were on Saturday. Where? In Wrigleyville. I wasn't in Wrigley. Wrigley. Yeah, you were. <laughs> <laughs> you're lying, bro. No, I, was, I wasn't drinking though. I haven't nah. drank since New Year's Eve. Why? Just because? I gave it up. Ready? Holy shit, I'm tattooed. Hmm, mm, you wish. That's it? Alright, check it out in the mirror real quick. Okay. Alright, my boy. We're starting already? Yeah. Ready? Wait, no? It already kind of hurt just when you shaved it. Damn. Alright, I'll move. Should I be like this or like my, my no, legs? Alright, this is good? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Damn, kind of does hurt. Yeah? Yeah. Forgot why. Forgot what this felt like. That was one line. <laughs> Bro, I can't believe I'm getting this tattoo. <laughs> like, I'm looking at it. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah. Which one of yours was the most painful that you got? That you could remember? The inside of my knee. For like sure. on the heat? No. Oh. oh. Fuck. That's why I said I knew this was going to hurt because I don't know, felt it. Chest down, side of my stomach. Is that right? I mean, I'm sure that hurts too. It doesn't hurt. A little bit, yeah. I'm just trying not to think about it. Let's go. <laughs> like, if you think about the whole aspect of it, it's like. All we're doing is talking. That's kind of like a radio. Yeah, right? But it's like people find like, at least I do with other podcasts. Like I just like to listen to people. Like That's what I do. I listen to any podcast. Except mine. Doesn't matter who it is. I watch all of them. My guy. Nah, but yeah, bro. I don't know. I, like it's, it's weird, right? Like we're like drawn to that. Like who would have thought? Like I think it's just nature. It's just talking to people and just interacting with yeah, people. Yeah, right. Especially nowadays with all that work from home and like working and stuff, you don't really yeah. do that nowadays too. Right? It like elevated it for sure. I was gonna do it since then, bro, since 2020. You never did, huh? No. Pussy out. Not even that. I just, I'm glad though, I wasn't really, like now I'm not saying that like I'm an expert now, you know, but like, 
I think just like the way that I envisioned it was nowhere near like where it's at now. Which is not saying much because it's not nowhere What's your now. Most viewed video. Uh, Loki the first one, my girls, and then I think Edwin's. They both hit a thousand. Yeah, that's cool. On YouTube. Yeah. Nothing crazy. We're gonna hit ten thousand though. This one? Yeah. Nah. Hell yeah. I got five hundred views. Nah. Five hundred max. Nah. <laughs> 15k. If someone want to place a bet, 500 max. 20 that, 20 dollars. It doesn't get no more than 500 views, no more than eight likes. I'm gonna clip this so that everybody can go yeah. now, and then you're gonna owe me 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> 20 bucks. How what's the most like? Or likes? Let's do likes instead of views. Nah, people. Views be, is easy to get views. People don't be liking it. No? That's fucked up. Yeah. Be watching. I know. They just watch and move on. Loki, I don't like videos either though. Like mm -hmm. on YouTube? You don't? No. Nah. What a guy. I like and comment. For real. I feel like my dad would know how to do a podcast because he's always watching them. There you go. Besides Kai Sabet. The the live streamer? The streaming guy? Huh? Kai. What do you watch? Imagine when my legs go away now. Bro, it doesn't even like look real. Mm. It looks like my yeah. knees drew it on me. <laughs> looks dope. I fucked with it, bro. I really do fuck with it. I think I like the place. Like, had it been like centered. I, yeah. think it, I don't think it would have looked as, as good. Because it would have just been awkward, you know? Like yeah. by itself. Yeah. Now I can like even add something if I really want to, yeah. you know? Because it looks like it's walking towards. Yeah. I mean, I'll come up with something later, I guess. Or if it ever like comes up. But damn, dude. That's sick. Whole interview on be like this. <laughs> Showing up in your chat? <laughs> yeah, literally. It stops after 30 minutes. It stops after 30 yeah, minutes? Yeah, it stops after 30 minutes. Alright, let me start over then. Alright, welcome to season two of Your Me and Me. I had to go all out, had to get a superstar as my first guest for season two. So I came here to black and gray, got tatted up, black and gray, and got my guy Lito on as the first guest of season two so you gotta hear him you gotta hear him thanks for coming on my salud, man salud. how you feeling I'm all right man how are you good this is your first podcast yeah first podcast man first first time on camera. on camera everything yeah how does it feel right now a little weird feels a little nerve-wracking yeah yeah, yeah. 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 take a shit a little bit. <laughs> hey it's cool yeah. man we'll cut we'll cut it we'll cut it so you yeah. can go so you just tatted me up bro Got the Hear Me and Bear Me logo. Um, I forgot how much tattoos hurt at first. Mm -hmm. It was kind of crazy, but we're here, man. Thank you for that, bro. Yeah, That's thank sick. You for pulling up. Welcome. Yeah, no, thanks for Welcome. coming on. Yeah. I had to chase you down to come on. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, I slid in. All the way for you. I slid in Lito's DMs last season, and I was like, "Yo, like, come on, Lito, like, you know, come on the show." Loki, <laughs> I think I worded it like really, like I was just like come on or something like yeah, that you right said something like that you're like come on yeah i want you in the pile i was like what <laughs> so then so then i had to come right for season two and yeah. i sent you a proper message i was like yo like you sent me a fucking novel yeah i was like yo like, dear mr bustos like um you know what let me pull this let me yeah, pull this out real quick bro. Bro. it was like super official though hell yeah i honestly Oh, there we go. So I said, good afternoon, Mr. Bustos. We would like to formally extend an invite <laughs> for you to make an appearance on episode one for season two, Hear Me and Fear Me. And I wrote like 30 more things after that. 
And then we set it up and I was like, damn, bro, you think you could tap me up though? Like during it? Yeah. And here we are now. Like, yeah, we got it done. Yeah, we're here in the new shop, uh, the new black and gray shop. How you feel about the new shop, man? I feel good, man. It's a blessing for real. Yeah. How yeah. long has it been in the works? So like to actually have <laughs> a good it? a good two years, man. We started uh demoing last June. Oh. So June 2023. And then officially this week is grand opening week. So you guys saw this spot for like a year or you guys were just like, we're looking for a spot. Yeah, he was, he, my dad was on it. Um, he was on it for a good two years. Oh, really? Like on the hunt? Yeah. And how convenient is it that it's like down the street from Perfect where you guys were right, at? Right where we were, right where we grew up. You know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's home. That's sick. And you guys, um, you guys have a convention coming up, no? Like this yeah, weekend? We have a, a big convention this weekend in Rosemont. Um, we got 20 different artists from all around the world uh -huh. coming to pull up, support the brand. Yeah, that's yeah. sick. I saw your dad was like on a podcast, right? With some like for like a foreign guy. Too. Yeah, it was like a, like a short interview. Yeah. Some guy interview. Yeah, because he barely spoke English kind of, mm -hmm. right? That yeah. was that was crazy. Is he coming yeah. or no? Who? The, that guy that interviewed nah, your dad? Sure. I don't think so. Oh, okay. Okay. And what about the grand opening on Thursday? The grand opening. Yeah. Um, same thing. We got a... We got a big group of artists and people coming. Mm. You know, come show love. This is this is a dream come true for real. That's sick, bro. Yeah. Did you think that like did you ever have something else that you were gonna like plan to do? Or was it so always tattooing? like Yeah. Yeah, to be honest, and tattooing wasn't even in the plan. Really? Yeah, for me at least. So how'd that come about? I just stumbled upon it. Um it's a, it's a long story, you wanna hear it? Yeah, we got time. Shit. We got time. All I wanna right. hear it. I got time. Um, <laughs> So basically, how I started, I mean, I've always been around it. My dad's been tattooing almost 30 years now. Mm -hmm. So I've always been around it. I've always been intrigued with, you know, the art aspect of it or, you know, the lifestyle, you know. Yeah. Just grew up with it. Um, so one day, I kind of just felt the need to, like, try it. So I called my tia one morning. I was like, hey, tia, let me let me tattoo you real quick. Uh -huh. She was like, all right, bet. Come on. 12 o'clock. So we pulled up one day, and my dad was working at the time. He said, like, what are you guys doing here? And I was like, oh, I'm going to tattoo her real quick. I was like, for real? I was like, yeah. So I ended up doing like three, four tattoos that day. What did you What did you do on her? Like some music simple? note? Uh, music oh, note. okay, I okay. I fucked it up. <laughs> no, no way. Yeah. Did you still have it? Hell yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a cool story now, though. Yeah. I look at it every time I see it. So you did that, and then it just kind of like one thing led to another where you're like, this yes. is what I'm going to do? From that one Saturday, I did a tattoo on Monday, did a tattoo on Thursday, and I just kept the ball rolling from there. How old were you? 20, 21. So like kind of fresh out of high school in a way? Yeah, a little bit. I was in and out of jobs, you know, trying to trying to find my niche, but never found it. And so Until I'm, you landed here? Yeah, that's all. I heard your dad on that interview kind of say, though, that he didn't like, hmm. he didn't like encourage you guys, like, oh, yeah. like you guys should do this, like, or whatever. Was it like you told him, like you talked to him, like, yo, like, I think I want to do this. Like, how yeah. did that conversation never, go about? Never had that conversation, never. Nah? Never mentioned it to him, never thought of it. I kind of really just woke up one day and was like, yo, I want to try it. And yeah. it made it happen. That's sick, dude. Yeah. I mean, honestly. I mean, I used to tell people in high school that I would never tattoo. Like, I got people to this day that will tell me, like, bro, you said you'd never tattoo. I was like, yeah. That's crazy. It happens. I think I've asked you before, like, do you draw or did you draw, like, anything like that? Not and you good. told me that you didn't. You just kind of, like, now that you're telling me you just picked up a pen, you're yeah. like, fuck it. Picked up a machine. I mean, I was always around it. I used to help my dad, you know, set up and break down, you know. Uh -huh. Like the tattoo stations and all that for right since I was fourteen years old, so I was always around it, you know. Mm -hmm. Never really picked up a machine, but yeah, I'm glad I did, bro. Yeah. Changed when when did it hit you though? Like when you were young, was it like you see your dad and you're like, damn, like the job he has, like that's kind of crazy, like because it's not an ordinary job. I don't. Yeah, it's different. I mean, growing up around here, there wasn't nobody had a dad tattoos, you know. At least that I knew of. Yeah, and even then, even before, because tattoos like. I wouldn't say that they were looked down upon, but like they were less accepted. And I was mm -hmm. like, bro, yeah, everyone's the world, tat, you know, bro. which is like how it should be, you know. Yeah, we got, I mean, I got 60 year olds coming in for their first tattoo. That's, that's 60 year olds? Yeah. That's I, crazy. I tattooed a lady, her shoe was like 60 something first tattoo, and then she ended up getting like sleeved up, legs, everything. That's crazy. I don't know yeah, if I'm beginning tatted when I'm 60. Big, yeah, you might be. Bro, this one, dude, I don't, so you hadn't tatted me up and like, I think you, this was like two years ago that I got this done. A while. And so you kind of forget like, oh, like not what it feels like, but I, I don't know. Like it really, until you like 
we were halfway i'm like oh okay like yeah. now you start to get kind of used to it again mm-hmm. you're like oh like, yeah right yeah. but like at first dude i was like how the fuck did i sit through like two hours of you tattooing like my inner bicep you know yeah, tattoos hurt bro yeah but then it just like kind of i don't know it just went and came so you did you did you have a tattoo when you started or you you had you weren't tatted like, yeah when, when i started, started yeah i had my first tattoo at 18. okay what did you get my son's name on my back fine yeah show first the camera right now. huh show the camera right now nah, no yeah, tramp stamp pay for that one it goes pretty low <laughs> yeah no you just show me that off camera bro now that's that's sick man honestly and i mean now like you guys are doing it together like you your brother your dad like yeah. opening up a shop together I mean, my first time in here was uh, what, like last week, mm-hmm. and like it's sick, dude. It's sick. Like anyone that's gonna come in, like they're gonna have the same reaction. Like yeah. damn, they're like, you guys snap, you know. Appreciate especially, it, yeah. I especially like that you guys kept it, like you said, in, in the town. town yeah. You know, you guys didn't go away. You guys didn't move, like, because obviously you could have, yeah. could have gone to the city wherever, but you guys kind of kept it here, which is dope. I mean, yeah, it's like it your here, roots, man. you know. It's home. Yeah. Home, baby. I saw your. I saw. Um, Aiden? Aiden, Aiden shirt, future yeah. tattooer. Future tattooer. That's crazy, bro. That's, That's the goal, dope. Bro. That's the goal. That's cool, though, we'll man. See. We'll see what he wants to do. He seems like he's like liking it, you know. Yeah. Like he's here, he's watching. He's not like trying to like you know leave mm-hmm. or like kind of out of focus, like yeah. you know. And he's around it, so I'm yeah, pretty man, sure. That's how I was. My dad used to tattoo on the kitchen table while we were sitting there eating dinner. You know, uh-huh. I've been around it since I was a kid, just like him. Are you taking him to the convention or not? Yeah. Yeah, he'll be there for a day. I think there's going to be a lot more tattoo artists coming in, though. You think so? Yeah. Why do you there's say already, that? There's already a lot now. A lot from here to the city. There's a lot of tattoo artists, you know, right before when it wasn't like that. We were talking earlier, like, you guys don't have, a like, an Instagram for, like, the tattoo shop mm-hmm. or whatever. But you guys have an Instagram, like, individually. Mm-hmm. And then for, like, your brands, like, you guys have, which is... I didn't honestly like I was I wasn't like prepping, but I was kind of like, you know, like looking at, like over yeah. you guys stuff that didn't even really hit me that it's like, dude, like you have like um, always working. And then like I always see your lives pop up, like always working. Mm-hmm. And then your dad has like, the, you know, like the black and gray. Like, is that something that you kind of were like, I want to come up with something on my own? Like, how did that yeah. come about, too? Yeah, because my dad's been pushing the black and gray you know, the black and gray on my fucking day merch. Uh-huh. He's been pushing that for, I don't know, like 10 years now. Uh-huh. You know, putting it in everybody's hands. Everywhere he goes, somebody, if it's not a sticker, it's a shirt. If it's not a shirt, it's a tattoo from him, you know? Yeah. So he's always marketed a brand around his work. So I think it was like maybe two years ago, two, three years ago. Around this time, I had, I had told him, I was like, I need, a, I need a brand. I need a brand something. I can't just brand leak those tattoo, you know? So, yeah. I, it was it was a funny start of it. Yeah, like, now we're here again, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, but definitely a good time, especially we got this going on. Right, yeah. like the timing of it all was kind of like, oh, you guys are opening the shop, and literally on in two, three days. Yeah, three days. What does that mean? Like you're gonna have like a grand opening, like a party, and then yeah, like... it's a it's a private party, you know, invite only. Uh-huh. Um, we invited um, artists from all around the world. And, Know, close close friends and family and i'm sure people are coming for the convention yeah so that's basically the whole idea of why we did it this thursday was because of the chicago convention that's going Ooh. on this weekend okay so all the artists that you know that we you know rock with or whatever are going to be in the area for this show so why not do it the day before when you're already in town you know? yeah are you guys running the convention then or no, 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 no you're no. just a part of it yeah so. we're just a part of it um got it yeah, but we have a booth of 20 different artists so so our the brand itself is it's gonna be pretty big. Yeah. So, dude, I mean, I can't even imagine. You've met like numerous people. Yeah. Doing what you do, like not just clients, but like people that are in the space, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know, like how grateful are you for that? Like, you know, I'm super grateful. I'm grateful for everything, bro. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah, being able to connect with different people, being able to make a post and go to Texas and do a tattoo, or go to California and do a tattoo. You know, like those connections are different. Yeah. Not many people can do that. Yeah, exactly, dude. And just with the power of social media, I feel like it gives you yeah. an even bigger boost. You know, yeah, kind of sure. like an advantage that you're yeah. able to promote your stuff like that. Yeah, social media, the work that my pops has done throughout the years. Like, like I said, 30 years. He did his first tattoo in 93, 94. So that's Damn. 30, we were, literally we were 30 born years. Yet. No, it wasn't even a thought. It wasn't even a thought of a Crazy. Being, being born yet. You're the oldest, right? Yeah. It's just you and your brother? Mm-hmm. Just us two. 
and you guys are both at like it's like full circle for your dad i'm pretty sure like because yeah. him and his brother, even him even him he'll tell you that he never encouraged us never asked us never put it upon us never uh-huh. never did any of that we both picked it up he's been tattooing what two years now he yeah. the same thing picked it up just wanted to try it yeah we're talking about oh. Vita because he's here oh yeah my little brother he's in the yeah room. he's working always working always right working you guys are always like, always hell no but yeah dude i'm pretty sure it's like full circle for your dad to like see it too like oh that was me and my brother you know i, I don't know yeah i'm sure he it's, it's some sort of like proudness in him that he sees it yeah so why why like your dad say they didn't push you guys why do you feel different like pushing not pushing your kid but like encouraging you like oh dude if you want to do it like it's always there you know um i don't know man Probably because I didn't have that. I wasn't pushed. Uh-huh. And I kind of just found the space by myself and kind of... And you enjoy it now so I enjoy much. it. I love it. It's a, it's a good place to be in, honestly. And yeah. There's a lot of benefits to it. Yeah. Other yeah. than health benefits. You don't get health benefits with it, but there's <laughs> benefits. Bro, I still can't believe, like, I got this on me, bro. Like, oh, yeah. I can't wait for my hair to grow back, though. It <laughs> looks kind of like... just looks bald and shit. Yeah. Bro, this is sick, dude. Honestly. And I'm glad we didn't center it. I'm glad, like... Yeah, I'll center it. cool. Yeah. I really like, too, I, I told you earlier, the little halo, like, on top of the A. Mm-hmm. That's, like, sick. Like, yeah. did, did you, like, come up with that or, like... Bro, I didn't come up with nothing. Really? Everything that I do is influenced from, you know, mainly my pops, but definitely somebody else. I mean, because he's sick with, like, the whole, like, freestyle, like, you know? But still, yeah. though, man, like, you have somewhat of a vision, like, yo, I want to do this and I'm going to be this. You know, it's, like... Mm-hmm. I definitely got the ideas for sure. Yeah, right. For sure. Like that that's what I mean. Yeah, like, we just sat there, I just table. created, you know, we thought of an idea Ooh. for you. We're man, we're we're cooking. To to be uh to be announced. But yeah, bro, yeah. that was crazy. This guy, bro, we're like cooking, bro. just the mind that like I'm starting to see it. I'm seeing where the always working is coming from. Cause I was just like, Yeah, bro, can you just do this? And from that, like three ideas came from that mind right there. So no, nah, I do want to get some here though. I might try to give like my birth year right here. Mm-hmm. Done, bro. I won't cheat on you again. <laughs> I won't cheat. It's all good, bro. I uh, I I cheated on Lita one time. I'm sorry, man. It's all good. I was in Denver. I was drunk. It was. I kind of regret it, you know. The moment it happened, like I felt like I had to call you, like, hey, like, you know, like I felt like I for real cheated. Is this, is this your payback? Your payment? Your yeah. This you're how making I'm, up for it. Yeah, I'm trying to make up for part it. of your. Yeah, like I'm trying to promote you, like, like, <laughs> like this is my guy, you know, like, like it's just him, you know, That's like right. this is me, like basically, like, like after I cheated, like I'm bringing you flowers. This yeah. is basically me, like asking for forgiveness. Yeah, That's like I'm, I won't do it again. You forget? You guys heard that? Forgiven. Gotcha. Forgiven. This whole thing, like, it's just like it's, 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 it's so cool, you know. It's abstract, and you guys are like making like a family business out of it, which yeah. is like. Definitely a family business. It started with family. My dad wasn't the first one. His brother was. Uh-huh. His brother put a machine in his hand. Same thing. One random day, tattoo me. You know. So he was older, older than your dad. Yeah, he was older, older, than, like a couple years older. And one random day, when he was thirteen years old, thirteen brought a, brought a homemade machine home and was like, "Hey, tattoo my back real quick." Crazy. And my dad was like, "Same thing. Fuck it. I'm done." You know. Thirteen. So that's how he started. Since that moment. But my dad was real artistic. He used to draw when he was little. He used to yeah. study art and stuff like that. What were you doing when you were 13? When I was 13? Yeah. Not a goddamn thing, bro. Yeah. I was playing soccer. I was in the street somewhere. I was... um. On my bike and my basketball. I would stay up late, like on Facebook, when Facebook was popping, and like change my status. Like, That's crazy. Like to a that. music quote, you know? Or like, uh, like my status for uh, I'll write on your wall. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was doing at thirteen. Your dad was tattooing people, bro. Yeah. Crazy. That's that's why that's why the older generations be like, back in my day, like you know, that's why they fucking give us so much shit about yeah. everything. Hell no. But then we're gonna be those people. We're gonna be like, you're gonna tell your son, you're gonna be like, man, like, you should have seen what I was doing, like you know. When your son's like trying to goof around, like, mm-hmm. you you don't know how hard I had it. Are you there yet with your son? A little bit. A little, little bit. There's about to be nine, so I'm getting that. You know what I used to give to my parents. What about your youngest yeah, one? What about him? How old is he? Oh my bad, he's four. He's about to be four. Four in May. Okay. Yeah, same thing. 
how do you feel that – so you, you had him when you were 18? I had my oldest when I was 17, junior year of high school. Did that – like, obviously it changed you somehow, but, like, yeah. how, did you see – did you feel different when you had your first, obviously, versus when you had your second? Like, obviously you're more prepared. Yeah, But was sure. it just, like – did you look back like, damn, how did I do that when I was like 17? Now I do. Now I look back like, I don't, I, it's crazy. I, I don't know how we did it at 17. Yeah. We have, we had a lot of help, obviously, but yeah, for sure. Yeah. A baby at 17, trying to finish high school. It's crazy. Bro, he seems like a good kid though. He's a good kid. Yeah. yeah. Like I've seen, other, like, I'm not talking shit, but like, you see obviously kids like that age and like, mm-hmm. he seems like a really good kid. Like, nah, yeah. you know. We definitely try to impose good on our kids. Were you a good kid? Fuck no. No? <laughs> really? Were you the bad one between you and your brother? Yeah. He's a saint. My brother's a saint. Really? Yeah. He never got in trouble. I was low kid a bad kid too. I have an older sister. Man, I remember one time this kid skipped school to go to the Cubs parade. Your brother did? Yeah. Uh huh. Called my mom and was like, Yo, I'm skipping school. I'm on a train, I'm going to the city. Uh huh. My mom was like, What the hell? Nothing happened. Cause he was honest. I don't know what it was, but he's a saint. Yeah, it's because he was honest. I mean, you would have lied and been like, I was there. Yeah, I was at school. I was in fourth period. Yeah. What you mean? (laughs) Yeah, that's crazy, right? I don't know, man. Just everyone's different in their own regard. I was kind of like, I feel like I could relate to you. Like, probably, like, I I wouldn't have told. Dude, I used to have my sister call in for me because she was older. Mm -hmm. Like, call me in the school, and she would always, like, call me after, talk to me after, like, Dude, like, you can't be doing it. Like, I can't be calling for you, you know? Yeah. Like, another mom, basically. And I'm like, ah, like, we're you know, right. we're fine, you know, whatever. But, yeah, dude, it's just crazy how people always get one good kid and, like, mm-hmm. one bad kid. So, yeah. I don't know, man. I'd watch out for that four-year-old. No, bro. yeah, he's trouble. He's, gonna be he's trouble? definitely going to be trouble. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Damn. That's going to be baby Lito right there. Oh, yeah. Times two. He's baby Lito. Aiden's baby Lito, for sure. Yeah? Yeah. Spitting image. What is uh, your youngest's name? Abias. Oh, so both A. That's yeah. why you got the A right here. Yeah, it's a family thing. We're all A's. My mom is Amy. Dad's Angel. My brother's Anthony. I'm Angel. Aiden and Abias. Crazy. All A's. Crazy. All J. A J too. My brother's middle name is Jordan. I'm a junior. Aiden's middle name Everyone's is... Everyone's AJ? Yeah. Aiden's middle name is J. And Abias is Jordan. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Your middle name is Jordan? No, my brother's. Is. Oh, okay, okay. I'm a junior, so I didn't. I Why do they call him Vita then? It's a long story, but basically, <laughs> um, he used to get wrapped in a blanket real uh-huh. tight, and they used to call him Bolita. Like, they used to wrap him like a ball. Yeah. Because he was real chunky, he just looked like a ball. So his nickname was Bolita when he was little. <laughs> and I was so little at the time, I couldn't say Bolita, I used to say Vita. Uh-huh. So Vita kind of stuck. And then B for short, you know, we call him V. Got it, got yeah. it. Yeah. That happens a lot where it's like the sibling couldn't say the prison mm-hmm. name and then they just get stuck with them. Yeah. So that's and, how he got beat. And you're obviously Lito because, like, Angel. Little Angel. Yeah. yeah. Angel Lito. But you're the opposite of that? Of course. All angels are devils. <laughs> bro, that's crazy. Now that you say that, I don't know a single good angel. Exactly, brother. All wild angels. <laughs> We're thinking of the same one? Yeah. Hell yeah, we are. <laughs> No, bro. Shout out to my boy Angel. Yeah, shout out he to know, our boy Angel. Yeah, shout out to our boy. Yeah, we're working. Always working. Always working. How did that come about, by the way? Man, honestly, just really just being in the shop all the time. You know, just all literally like yeah. Since, figuratively, since I had, working. since I was finding out I was having a baby, man, I was always always on a job. Never, uh-huh. never didn't work. You said you were in and out of jobs. Yeah. What probably. what kind of jobs did you have? I've had every job. I'm, I'm really interested in this, actually. What I, was what was my first? Doing? My first job was fast food, Wendy's. I did Wendy's for a little while, and then after that was everything. I did retail. I did factory. I did everything, bro. Mm-hmm. Everything. Which one did you work at? Wendy's. Yeah, uh, I worked here in Waukegan and uh, Vernon Hills and Fox Lake, actually. Damn, everywhere. Yeah, man. I used to drive 45 minutes to go work at Wendy's and Fox Lake. That's, that's crazy. 17 years old. What did, what did you do there, though? Like, everything, basically, yeah, right? Yeah, my favorite part was cooking, though, on the, on the grill. Really? Sure. Yeah. Made a mean-ass Baconator or no? yeah, brother. <laughs> Fresh, never-frozen patties, you know? <laughs> Bro, 
No lie though, Wendy's might be like of the three, like the big three, like still McDonald's, nice. Burger King. Yeah, I feel like that might be my I favorite. I still eat it, bro. I, I know all the ins and outs of Wendy's, and I still eat it. You don't have like I feel like sometimes people have that problem where like if they work fast food somewhere mm-hmm. for so long, they get sick of it. Man, we can go right now. Get a whole Man, meal. come on, bro. You probably know like the secret, like the secret nah, like, menu secret items and shit. No, I know it's good though. What do you still get there, bro? Dude, but like I always get the JBC now, like the Junior Bacon, bro. It used to be like a dollar, oh, like three dollars now. Everything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, chicken used to be a dollar. Now it's like two fifty. That shit's crazy, right? You can't even get a large soda for a dollar no more. Are the fries still like? A, they used to be a dollar too, right? Like There's back then. A dollar nowhere. Not even at a dollar store. Not even at a dollar store, bro. Hot nowhere. fries one fifty. Hot fries, yeah. one fifty. Really? Hot fries, yeah. No way, dude. Nothing's a dollar. Fuck, dude. The Arizona can still says ninety nine cents. They sell them for two dollars. Damn, bro. That's crazy. Bro. Those are the things we're gonna be saying though. Like back in my day, like that's what we're gonna tell Aiden and, and the Maya's room. Like, man, like back in my day. Yeah. So they do you remember when you could get the four little uh like uh che- like Cheetos or something with the little bags for a dollar? Which ones? Like the little, like just little, like chip bags, like the small, like ones. It used to be like four for oh, a dollar. Oh, the mini ones, yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah, mini yeah. ones. Four for a dollar. Oh, those are a dollar fifty in the vending machine. Yeah, the mini yeah. ones. Yeah, all air, no chips. All air, all no air. chips, bro. <laughs> I swear to God, bro. Even the big bags, though, all like air. they're like just like. <laughs> Lucky, my son, he had a bag of chips yesterday. So, I think it was some takis. Uh huh. He was like, "What the." Like all, all the chips are at the bottom of the bag, and the whole bag was like all air. Literally just air. <laughs> they, they, I, I'm very curious as to how they do it. Like there, there must be a way because, like, if you're packing it, think about it, and like you seal it. I feel like it wouldn't leave. They air. probably just blow it in. And seal it. <laughs> they, they got like a professional, professional yeah. blower, professional black bag blower, <laughs> air blower. How much do you think they pay? Shit, good money. <laughs> Probably gonna have a mouth on them. Yo, <laughs> man, fuck this podcast, bro. I'm gonna okay. go be a professional bag blower. <laughs> bag blower, air blower, air blower, <laughs> air blower, bag sealer. Oh, that's dude. a title right there. Yeah, that's a good title. Probably has a that's one job I haven't had. I've had everything else but that. Yeah, I don't know. You seem to have known about this position. I was offered it at one point, but I turned it oh, down. Okay. I turned it down to tattoo, actually. Okay, then that was the next one. That was the next one. Fuck. If tattooing didn't work, and I was definitely gonna go work for Laser somebody. I feel like you would have been like one of the best blowers of all time. <laughs> Not even lie, bro. Hey, the world may never know. I guess. <laughs> Man, bro, dude, you would have, bro, you would have had like eighty percent air, twenty percent chips in that bitch. Like, ev- would have been finessing everybody, bro. Yeah. Crazy. You just get a little taste, a little sample of chips. Yeah. And then my hot ass breath out the bag. But like you can't even be mad at that. I would have been like, man, props to whoever blew this no, up. Yeah. They got me. You know? Because yeah. you think it's a full bag until you open it and it's like Yeah. But then it makes you feel shitty. You're like, bro, how did I just eat this whole bag of chips? <laughs> but really it's like yeah. that shit wasn't full. I think the only bag of chips that is really full is like those Cheeto puff ones. The big bag, the, the uh, puff, the yeah, hot yeah. Cheeto puff. Balls? Yeah, and the puff that balls. That was pretty full. Yeah. That's <laughs> probably talking about chips. I don't know, man. I don't know how we got here. We, we were talking about your jobs, dude. Oh, yeah. 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 So yeah. what was literally the last job then that you had from, like, before this? Customer service, phones. Yeah, I used to work for a pharmaceutical company. And like headset and all. Headset and all, desk, my own little cubicle. Uh-huh. You know, very class A. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, I got fired from that job. Why? You know. No, I don't know. You know, just young, young and dumb. Uh huh. Yeah, probably yelling at a lady I shouldn't have. Did Did she deserve it though? You know, customers always wrong. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah! Especially here, especially here at Black and Gray. Always. Customers always wrong. Yeah, the artists know what's up. Yeah. Trust your artists. These artists do know what's up. Trust though. your artists. I will say that. I will say that. Cause I like, I was gonna get this like over here. But it would have been facing out. So we were going to flip it and do it on this one. But then, like, we can just, like, yo, let's just do it on the inner. Like, you came up with, let's do it on the inner thigh. You got to trust your artist. Look at this now. If you don't trust your artist, you shouldn't be tattooed by him. 
Yeah, it's that's simple, true, bro. It's a simple fact in tattooing. So who does does your dad do all your tattoos? No, I'm a I'm a bit of a collector. Okay. You can say I do get work from a lot of different artists. But in a weird way, I feel like that's good. Like that's good because you can learn like different techniques or see how they do it, like yeah. stuff like that. You know. Yeah, that's mainly what it's for, just to get a gauge on you know how other artists work and yeah how they do things, or that's even smart. if it's just getting a piece from somebody that you you admire, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So you've but do you do have from your dad? I do have work. Your brother? Him. Um. Yeah, I have one from him. Yeah. Dope. Dope. Just collecting art. And you've have you tatted them up? Yeah, no, not my dad. No? Nah? My dad hasn't got tattooed in a long time. Oh, really? Is he all tatted? He's all tatted up too, no. right? No? He's only got like 10 maybe, a couple that you can't see. Really? I'm like trying to picture him now. Mm. I can't. Does your brother? Nope. He's got two. Two tattoos? So you're like the Mr. Tatted over here. Yeah. That's I'm trying crazy. To be, I'm trying to be. This year yeah. I will be for sure. I mean, dude, fucking, you have both legs. That's yeah. crazy. Right leg almost done, right arm almost done. Uh-huh. Full chest, start of the stomach. What did you tell me hurt the most? The inside of the knee. Like right here? Yeah. If it wasn't that, it was the sternum. Yeah, dude, I bet, bro. But I'm doing, I just started my stomach, and that was pretty painful. What are you getting there? My last name. Across the whole thing. Sick. Sick. Yeah, man, tattoos hurt. Tattoos are not fun. Yeah, I can say but that. But it's, it's just a couple hours of pain, and then, you know, a lifetime of... Yeah. Lifetime of happiness. That's true. As long as you get a tattoo that you really like. Yeah. Because some people get some messed up tattoos. Some <laughs> regrettable tattoos, you know. Yeah. You like yeah. this one? Like on a drunk night in Denver, Colorado. It's all good though. Shouts out to whoever did it. You know what though? Like, like now it's a memory. Now it's like, oh yeah. Like, you remember when that happened? You know, like, I don't know. It was fun. I was young. I was like, yeah, I got a couple of dumb tattoos. It was like too. three years ago. Mm-hmm. But it's weird though. Like if like if you start compiling them, like you're saying you have dumb ones, it's almost like whatever at that point. Like you've mm-hmm. got a shit ton more. I mm-hmm. only have four. One a quarter of my <laughs> tattoos <laughs> are regrettable. <laughs> a quarter of them. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, dude. Look at this, bro. Sex. Look at this, man. Look at that. Man, I should have done leg day today. <laughs> <laughs> man, tough, I just can't wait for the hair to grow back because it does look a little awkward. Like, but that oh, was good, man. It gives a character. It looks like it's glowing. Yeah? You're glowing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you haven't drank since New Year's, you said? Yeah, since New Year's Eve, bro. I gave it up. I partied hard in November and December. And yeah. Just gave it up. No, that's sick, dude. I wish you could beer me right now, but... Nah, you're good, bro. Was it hard at first? Nah, bro. Not even hard. Not even... Oh, shit. Not even hard, but more so, like... You know, like, being out in a social setting, people are, like... Obviously, like, peer pressure, you know? Like, come on, bro, you know? And it's like, dude, I'm not. You know, I, I don't know. I think yeah, that's bro. the hardest part, right? Yeah, that's... It's just, you know, mental, honestly. It's, you can turn on anything if you really wanted to. Yeah, yeah, true. It's not that hard. Cheers, bro. Salute, bro. Thank you. Thank you, bro, for coming on. Hmm. A Red Bull shot is crazy. I love you, like, a Red Bull shot. <sighs> bro, I don't know, man. Like, I, I can't believe, like, like, I'm not saying you didn't want to come on, but, like, you were, like, shy, you said, you know? And now it's like, man, we're vibing, man. Like, we're having That's a good ass time. Bro, I'm having a great a time. I don't know. It's a vibe for sure. Like, th- like, when I think about, like, kind of why I started, like, you know, whatever. Dude, I would, like, you watch a lot of podcasts too, right? Oh, yeah. All day, every day. Bro, so I watch a shit ton too. Literally all day, every day. Listen to them, watch them. But, dude, it got to a point where, like, I had to turn them off because I'd be pissed. Because I'd be like, dude, like, why am I not doing that? You know, like I wanted to do it. Like it just, it caught my attention and I, like, I don't know why. Right. Yeah. And I'm like, man, like I've always, I've always liked connecting with people, you know? Mm-hmm. So it, I saw it as a, like, bro, you can literally connect with people. Like we get their story. Like it's good for like everyone else that like, you know, like you get to like, kind of like, I, I guess like hear, hear people's stories, you know, mm-hmm. like see like, cause you really don't know like, Oh, why is so-and-so doing it? like, I, I yeah. don't know. I feel like you get to know people, especially within the community. Yeah. And yeah. it's it's sick, you know. Well, Keegan alone, bro. Like Yeah, bro. There's a lot of people doing things. A and lot. Making noise and people just don't know about. It. Dude, like I would have never connected with uh shout out my guy Oscar right here. Like I would have never connected with him because I like hit him up, like, bro, like, you know, I see you're like killing it with like your videography stuff, you know, like 
how would you like to, you know, help me out with a couple yeah. projects and, you know, whatever. And even that, even that step that you took to even reach out to him is something that people don't do. Yeah, they right. Do. It's, it's, it's always it's, like. It's always like, should I do it? Should I not? Yeah. Do yeah. you listen to it at all? I do, bro, but not in my car. Not? In like a social setting for sure. What do you happy. listen to in the car? You know, rap. Trap rap and R&B. Who's your favorite artist? All time favorite, Kanye. Well, uh, you told me that. You told me that. But like right now, like upcoming, let's say. Upcoming artist right now? Yeah. Man, that's tough. I feel like you're going to say someone I don't even know. Um, I got a couple different ones. Um, I got a couple, bro. It depends on what genre, honestly. I got I got somebody for every genre. Well, okay. Let's run. Let's run them down. Come on, let's All do right. It. So, like, okay, you said rap, trap, and what? R and B. R and B. Yeah. I like like old school R and B. Does that count? I like old school R and B. Like does Chris cool Brown culture. and shit like count? Nah, Not really, crazy. right? Nah, that's crazy. Okay, what counts as old school R and B? Old school R and B, like, yeah. like, fuck, I can't think of one off the top. Man, bro. Of rip, but like, old school John Legend. Okay, you know, all right. That's like early two thousands, or you can go back to like. <sighs> what do these guys call? I don't fucking like, like, like boys to men is R and B and okay, shit. Okay, gotcha. Way back, you can go way back. Got gotcha. you. But you know what? Like you had the luxury. Or let's not say luxury. You like, like, cause your parents grew. Did your mom grow up here too? Mm-hmm. Yep. So your parents grew up here. My parents didn't. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's like a different upbringing in itself. Not that one's better than the other at all. It's just they're different. Yeah. So like you probably know a lot of old school like English music mm-hmm. that like I'm like what the fuck. And I know a bunch of like Spanish, like old school mm-hmm. music that you're like, who the fuck are these? You know? Yeah, it's so, super different. Yeah, but it's it's kind of crazy. It's like, I don't know how people just grow up differently, but everybody grows up different, bro. Yeah, no life, no, no two lives are the same. Nah, but I don't know. Like this might be like the Casamigos talking, but then like everyone's like paths collide, you know? And mm-hmm. it's just like some people like you meet like for life, and some people you meet for like a little while, mm-hmm. and it's like everyone was meant to be there at that moment, like yeah. in a weird way. It's yeah. the Casamigos talking. I feel like it. I, feel, I, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Sure. Isn't that crazy? I yeah, I, I believe that everything is happening for a purpose. Yeah, a or purpose. or like, like if you meet someone, like I'm not saying like romantically, I'm just saying like people in general, like why like why did you stumble across them at that point? Yeah. You know, like why not like later? And how would it have been different? Like oh, like if you would have never met that one friend or mm-hmm. like that, you know, like I, I don't yeah, know. Every every little instance is. For a reason, yeah. Purpose, you know, literally. Even if it's you walking by somebody in a gas station or standing behind somebody in the checkout line, you know. It's, yeah, I believe it's for a reason. Do you do like? Do you try to do like good deeds? Like when you're yeah, like, yeah. yeah, that's something I've been trying to work on. Like you good know, people deeds, say like you got to do one good deed a day, like open a door, or, like yeah. You know. I'm, I'm super big on a good deed. Oh yeah, yeah. What deed did you do? Today? You came on this podcast. That was your good deed. That was that was, a good that was your good deed for the day. The day is done. Tattooing you, done. hopping on the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy, bro. Four you shots did. for everybody that came in. Yeah. Damn, dude. What That's a stand up guy, bro. Yeah. Hours. So you could take tomorrow on the next day off. Like, you yeah, already. Bro. We're always <laughs> working. We always got it. You know? uh, always, working. always working. Always working. Yeah, no, bro. Honestly, yeah. Like, in a weird way, like, that's kind of, I'm a believer in that, too. But I've been trying to work on it. Like, you give, you give what you put out, bro. Yeah. If you give bad, you give bad. Yeah, yeah, but I don't know, like opening the door, like stuff like that's just like common shit, you know. I want to work more on like kind of going out of my way to like mm-hmm. do some, you know, whether it's like people pay for stuff, like for people in front or, I did, or behind. Yeah, I did that yesterday. I paid for my aunt stuff at a bar. Oh yeah, or Sunday. That was yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of, bro, I'm so glad we didn't record yesterday. We were supposed to record yesterday, Sunday. I'm so glad we didn't, bro. Oh, sorry, sorry, I did that. Oh, okay. But even that time, that same aunt that I had seen, I had seen her like a month ago, and I hadn't seen her in years. Uh huh. And I had, you know, paid for her and her friend's tab, and she was super thankful. And then when she seen me again Saturday, she was like, you know, thank you for this and this. And she had told my parents, and my parents were there too. And she had told them like, oh, he did this for us like a month ago. You know, little shit like that it comes, it comes full circle, bro. It does, bro. And it's just like something simple like that, like. 
I feel like people were not that you want it specifically for people to remember, be like, oh, you know that person. It's not even yeah. There's, you don't, it, yeah. If you do something good, you shouldn't expect something in return yeah, to exactly. happen to you, or you shouldn't be doing it wishing that something happens to you. You know, you should just yeah, and actually do it and let it be. If it comes back, it comes back. Yeah, exactly. But it's more so like you're thinking now, like, like that really will go a long way with that person. Like yeah. something that's, small, that's like a memory that. forever. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Doesn't matter what it is, where you're at. Yeah. Like I'm never gonna forget you coming on this podcast. <laughs> you can't, bro. It's all recorded. Yeah, it's gonna be on, it's gonna be on YouTube and shit. So you can, speaking of, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Subscribe, like. Oh, we did have a small bet. Um, oh yeah. If it gets more than 500 views, uh huh. Was it like $20? I owe you twenty dollars? Okay. A double go a long way. Five. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. To another microphone cushion, something. Yeah. Imagine it gets to five hundred one and just stops. That'd be crazy, bro. Yeah. I did a thing where I was like, yo, like, let's get to 200 subscribers. And I got to like 202. And I was like, let's fucking go. And then it went back down to 199. Oh, I was man, like, I hate that, bro. Especially don't... on Instagram. Yeah, no, this is on YouTube. I was like, man, y'all hate it. No, yeah, <laughs> nah, hell no. Nah. I don't know. I think the, the like apps just tweak, you know, on their own. Nah, bro, people be hating. Yeah, y'all be hating, man, for hating, real. Man. Nah, but that does happen. And even on Instagram, I think you like plateau or like you get to a certain amount and then you go up 20 and then you go down another 40 and then you go up 10 again. Like, you know, it just like fluctuates like that. But um, yeah, dude, like uh, you, I, I saw all you guys is like Instagrams and like they're up there, man. Like did yours, like how long ago did it grow? Like you felt it grow, you know? Um, I think like after two years, it started to grow. Like uh-huh. after it got like after a thousand. Yeah, but I'm only at five, five something. Five, not a lot of people. Four hundred, four hundred two. Hey, those are four hundred solid people. Shout out to all four hundred and two of you. But yeah, dude, like th- that's that's sick, you know. And, and then you go live, and I feel like that keeps like that's your way of interacting, almost, you know. Like yeah, you go live, you're just showing, showing that I'm actually doing something, you know. Yeah, because you don't want. To... I don't. I don't post every day. I don't. Yeah. I don't make a new post on my page. I don't. Yeah. I try to post on my story every day, but sometimes I don't, you know? Yeah. And people don't really get to see that aspect of, like, actually doing a tattoo, you know? Yeah. There's a lot of people just watching and following and liking, but they don't really know what goes into, you know, the piece that they end up liking at the end of the day. Yeah, bro. And people don't get to see this aspect, which mm-hmm. is, like, what, I, what I'm excited for, like, you know, to people, like, it's crazy, I, like yeah. I know you for a bit, you know? Yeah. But, um... But obviously, like people, we see people online that like do stuff, or you know, or we know of people, but we don't ever sit down and like get to mm-hmm. know them. So, oh, people can take away from this and be like, man, you know what? Hopefully, like, man, hopefully, you know, or they just hate you. Yeah, I mean, they just it could go both ways. Either yeah. way, I'm fine with it. Imagine, bro, you wake up. I think this is coming out March 27th. You wake up March 28th, and you've got like 2,000 followers. Like that's crazy. You just lost 4K. That's from I just video. lost people that didn't actually rock with me. So. Yeah, you didn't keep need the, them. Keep the real ones, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't need them. You'd rather have one friend, one real friend than a yeah. hundred fake ones. Yeah, hell yeah. All day. Man. This shit getting deep. I like it. Yeah. I like it. I let like the, the Casamigos flow. Come on. Yeah, I know. I kind of want to take an... Bro, wait. Is that the same bottle we had that you took out? Yeah, bro. Who the fuck's been there? taking all the shots? Not me. I took like two. I think, I think Oscar slipped the bottle. Hey, bro. You've been drinking it like off camera. Hey man, come on. You thought we wouldn't catch it? You when we got it, no? No, it was it was open. Oh it was? It wasn't brand yeah. new. Ah, okay. But, but it was oh. definitely way more than this. Yeah, dude. It was up to like here. That's at least. nothing. Yeah. It was here. They're they're drinking. They're probably drinking it on the back. Nah, bro. Nah. For the pain. This is Oscar, bro. Bro, I think it was you. He's celebrating Lucky by himself. Yeah. yeah. I saw you stumble right now, but I just thought like the floor was slippery or something. You know, that's the Red Bull. Clipping on the Red Bull, you dropped your own shit. I dropped earlier. <laughs> yeah, bro, that's like, when I knew. Playing soccer in the sub with a Red Bull. Yeah, that's when I knew, bro. When you spilled. Is it off? No, it uh, turns off every yeah, thirty minutes. Yeah, because it just has. Yeah, I don't know why. Well, I do know why, but I didn't know when I bought it. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> Is it back recording? Yeah. It's back on. Yeah. If you didn't, what? My bad. I forgot where we were. COVID. No, bro. This was great. We were about to get a great story. I felt it. Yeah, I kept my head down and did what I had to do. Like I said, I had just got fired. That was my only means of making money. 
I was gonna find it find it regardless. You know, I've always been that type of person to yeah, you know, I was I mean, hustling. I mean, yeah, you're saying since you were like, so I mean, in a way, you kind of got like forced to, but even then, like some people are forced to, and they still don't like. Dude, I, I appreciate it honestly. I I did appreciate it. how that worked out, and looking back on it now, yeah, it's kind of beneficial. I don't know, man. I'm not a dad, but like I just know, like the moment, like it, like it, it probably changes you, like in a good. And I, I mean, most people, right, in a good way, I guess. Yeah. Kind of depends how you take it. Yeah. Now, I mean, I've always had a good, you know, a good teacher. Uh, both my parents are very good, you know, role models and people to look up to. So I have the tools, and I'm hoping to put them, you know, on my kids. Yeah. Especially the hustling, hustling aspect, because I've been a hustler since I was little. I remember being in middle school, fucking, bro, I used to paint bikes for $30. Paint bikes? Like a BMX bike. You bring it to my no house. No way. I'll take it apart, sand it, do everything I had to, spray paint it. That's Nobody cool. really knows that. My homies know that. My homies know that. No. Uh -huh. If you know, you know. But yeah, I used to do that shit for a long time. That's when, that's when it kind of started, the whole, like I said, I'm going to always figure it out. From there, it was that I did that. And then high school, I got a job. And if I wasn't working, I was doing something. I used to have a detailing business. I used to detail cars for, I did it full-time for a couple months and then I went like part-time, but I had the same thing, had a brand, had business cards. I was going to people's houses, going to rich people's houses to wash their cars. I used to go pick up Audis and take them to my house to wash them. Just always been doing something, bro, honestly. Wow, wow. Of all those like weird, like kind of like out there outlandish jobs, mm -hmm. which one did you enjoy the most though, like before tattooing? Before tattooing, mm, optical. Yeah, I was in uh, Vision Works. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, so I was doing that. That was probably my my most favorite because it was more hands on. I was a uh, I was trained to to be in the lab, so actually like cutting and making actual like lenses and glasses and putting the glasses together. Uh -huh. You don't still have that discount, do you? Nah, bro. Fuck. I don't. It was a good discount. Man, but nah, I don't. Yeah, no, dude. I need, I need that, bro. Like when I say I've had every job, bro, I've had every job. Not oh, every except job. The, not every the, job. The bag blower. Yeah. yeah, 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 dude. I heard they make like I think like two fifty a year. Who? The bag blowers. Oh yeah. Yeah, starting off. Starting. Yeah. And then if you perform well, I heard if you're bilingual too. That Yeah. No. <laughs> Yo, blowing in Spanish, blowing in Spanish, <laughs> blowing in French. Imagine that. Oh, bro, it's a little dude. wee wee action. <laughs> There's yeah, no bro. way, dude. Oh my god, man, crazy for sure, bro. I wish um, no, I, I don't, I don't. I'm happy for you that you're not drinking, but I wish hypothetically you were drinking with me, yeah, selfishly. But I'm glad that you're not. You know, you see how conflicted I am. Yeah. That like I wish you were, but like at the same time, I wish like, I was too. I'm happy you're not, and you and you shouldn't. Like I encourage you not I to. I feel the exact same way, bro. I feel like if I see you with a drink in your hand, bro, like, like going forward, and you haven't told me like yo, like I decided to go back to drinking. I feel like I tackle you, bro, at the bar. You should. I, I give you permission to. If you ever see me yeah? with a mixed cocktail in my hand, I give you permission. Okay. Like, full on. Fucking Ray Lewis, me. Yeah. Straight shoulder to stomach. RKO. Randy Orton, do whatever the hell you want. Yeah. Oh. Our Undertaker, you can fucking pick me up and slam me on my head. Imagine I do it and then you're like, bro, it's fucking water. I'd probably give you a hug. That would be crazy. If it was well, water. Let's know right now, though, because if I do, if I am out, bro, I'm drinking pineapple juice uh -huh. or Red Bull. Okay. So I do have a cup in my hand. Fuck. And so it's how very will I deceiving. know? How will I know? Or if I'm at a restaurant, I drink kitty cocktails, you know? Yeah. But that's, I mean, low-key, that's like a smart play. I found a niche, though, bro. I found a way to get past that little, because I was, you know, drinking pretty often, you know, every mm -hmm. other week or so, or if not every week, every day, whatever. Um, but I have a thing for drinking like a michelada. Okay. So they make alcoholless beer. Oh, right. The Heineken's or which yeah, ones? Yeah, Heineken, Corona. No lie, I was going to pull up with those. Bro. Like, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have drink it. So I'm glad you did it because I can't drink it by itself. It has to be in a mission. Ah, uh, but uh, you should have told me that, bro. But yeah, that's the that's how I get past. Yeah, that's how I'm able to for the next interview. Get past it, Michelas. Yeah, fake, Brisa, fake Michelas. Brisa has the best ones. Do they? They have and they have the Heineken. Salsa, the... Brisa. Yeah, 
Damn, Lisa, I didn't, now they need a sponsor. Cut that. It's all good. I'll call Doña Maria right now. She'll, <laughs> she'll send us her logo. Yeah. No, no, yeah, bro. But like, um, with the whole drinking thing, like I like I'm I'm not like trying to make you a spokesperson for like you no, know being so you know me. like because obviously you go back whenever you want. But like, have you felt like a difference since then? Like you feel better? Like in a, yeah, in a think, weird way? I think waking up, you know, you feel a lot lighter. Yeah. It might not look like, but you feel lighter. That's what it's about. Yeah, bro. Definitely. Yeah. You don't got to look at the number on the... Who, who, who fucking looks at scales? No, yeah, no, fuck the scale. Fuck the scale. Yeah. Have a beer. Take two beers. Fuck it. Yeah. And a double cheeseburger. You deserve that. Bacon eater. Bacon eater. Bacon but only eater. if you make it, though. Yeah. Bro, you should have, like... You should have took everything, like, whole, like all the ingredients, you know? Like, man, started. you should have started your own Wendy's. Damn. You said Damn you were doing life. everything, no? Yeah, bro. That would have been crazy. Be cool. Just fucking put a little spot right here, a little Wendy's. A little burger spot? Yeah. A little walk-up window? Yeah. Bro, I, man, I can't stop. Like, this, sh- this shop is sick, dude. Like, it really is. Thank you, man. Shout you know? Shouts out to my dad, bro. Are you ex- yeah, like this? Is happen. basically your second home, you know? Like you're excited to like operate. So you're probably here more than I am home. I don't doubt it. Honestly, yeah. I mean, it's, we've been chilling here now for like a little bit. Yeah. I feel like it's my home. You can take your shoes off if you want. Man, you got take, massage bed. I might take a nap on the massage bed. You got blankets? We do. We're and good. We're good. Yeah, we got you, bro. <laughs> Hell no. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of what we wanted to feel like though. It's like you're you're at home, you know. That's kind of yeah how we had our old shop, same vibe, you know, same aesthetic. Yeah. Try to keep it clean to a to a point. Especially because I feel like a lot of people come with someone, you know, like they'll yeah. bring somebody, mm-hmm. so like they kind of have somewhere to hang out. Like it takes a long time. Yeah. To... This this whole uh, well, when everybody sees it, they'll understand it. But the whole like waiting area is a little different from us because how we were so close and tight on the other spot. Yeah. Um, but it's working. It works good. Yeah. I mean, you guys have Netflix set up here. You know what? You, you were going to get a tattoo? I'll come with you, bro. I'll just stay here the whole time. Yeah. Just hang out. Definitely a vibe, bro. Take my shoes off. Casamigos on deck. Water, Red Bull. Yeah. Sour Patch Kids, we got you. Sour Patch Kids. Shout out Aiden. Yeah. Had the Sour Patch Kids on deck. Hmm. <laughs> but yeah, bro. You ready to wrap up or what? I'm done. You don't have any more important questions? I, I I mean I don't do you have anything like I have a question. Go go bro. I wanna know why you do this. Why what's, do I do what's this? your purpose in this? I kinda like, like purpose, not just because you wanted to try it one day. Yeah, so I don't know, like I, I guess it's like uh it's kinda like a complex because it's like a multitude of things, you know? It's like yeah, it's like for the community. Yeah, it's for like because I enjoy it. Yeah, what it's do you for like it? What do you, how does it make you feel? Bro, honestly, it makes me feel like I have a, like, it sounds cliche, but it makes me feel like I have a purpose, you know? Like, it really, like, like, it, it really gives me, like, something not to look, I don't want to say to look forward to, because I look forward to, like, many other things, you know? But it really, like, bro, like, I'm, like, thinking about this, like, obsessively all the time, and I'm, like, dude, like, I really want it to be, like, this, in this way, and, like, I really want people to connect to it in this way, you know? It's, like, like, yeah, selfishly, it's for me. Like, I'm doing it. Like, I want to, like, you know, like, do it because it keeps me occupied and stuff. But really, though, like, I just, I love people to connect with it, you know. And people coming on, like, how you are coming on, mm-hmm. like, that's the biggest favor I could ask from, like, or I could ask for from Somebody. anybody. It's like, dude, like, come on. And, like, I, like you're, like, supporting me without, like, saying. It's like you're helping me out, you know. Mm-hmm. And, like, vice versa, though. Like, I want people to get to know you and stuff like that. So, I don't know. I it, like I said, it's a multitude of reasons, but really, it's like I feel like it gives me a purpose, you know, like to like, I don't know. Yeah, that whole connecting with this community aspect is yeah is a good idea. There's always positivity in that, especially like I said in Waukegan, bro. It's so populated. There's so many people here. Yeah, and you feel like you know everybody, but you go to a store and you really don't know anybody. Like, no, you don't. And there's a lot of people out there that are like doing more for the community Mm -hmm. i feel like then like you know i like i obviously like i'm not like you know like doing some of the things that people are but like i'm trying to get there you know i'm trying Mm -hmm. to like really like connect with people and like do it in a way but i i don't think i figured it out yet but i'm trying to get there you know so it's 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 kind of like that man like it's always like you can take like you can move out the city but like what do they say like you can uh, something like 
you nah. can get the person out of the city, but you can't take the city out of the yeah, person yeah, like that. that. Like it's like, bro, that's why I'm saying like the fact that you guys opened it here, like mm-hmm. literally here is like that's huge, that's man. Bro. Yeah, that's huge, dude. Because you guys have a bunch of people that come from other places, and it's like, would they have ever come to Waukegan if yeah. it wasn't? That's for, exactly what the whole purpose you know? of this is, and why we have such a big space. You know, we have space for a couple of different artists to work here, and yeah, like. Like we said, we have people coming in from Italy. Like I, we got a guy coming this week. I'm going to get tattooed by him. He's from Italy. Like, yeah, to bring somebody from that far out to Waukegan and Gurney, like, bro, that's crazy, that's crazy right? Bro. That if you think about it, like, they're not going to Chicago. They're not seeing not, Skyline. They're coming to Gurney, Waukegan. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna drive by Six Flags and be like, "What yeah, the fuck? Bro. Like, what is this?" You know, that's that's the whole. But goal. yeah, bro, you like when they say like, "Oh, you're putting it on the map," like. In a weird way, you you are Lake County, yeah. You know, because yeah, you're exposing people to it, and knowingly, but definitely with the purpose. Yeah, yeah. And there's like anywhere, there's like bad that comes out of here, but there's just as much good, bro. Yeah, just as much good. We got everything here, bro. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. The people, the food, everything. The food, bro. If you sit really sit down and think about it, man, walking is better, though. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, bro. Like, I always get that question a lot. Like, if I would ever move out, like, you know, move to a different state or something. I don't think so. I've experienced a lot. A lot of different areas and people and vibes and... Nothing's like home. Nothing's like Nothing's home. like home in that, you know, sense of it. But really, I, I personally don't think that, you know. Yeah. I'm okay with the seasons. I'm okay with... Getting flicked off at a red light, you know? <laughs> You're yeah, okay I'm with, okay like, with looking, uh... The ring app telling you every day, like, Everything, you know, <laughs> like, yo. That's like, what it is. It's life. Yeah, bro. But, like, it's crazy, though, okay? So, like, I've, I've gone, I think we, where was it? I think we went to Orlando, okay? And we were kind of, like, in a sketchy area because mm-hmm. we got this Airbnb. We we're kind of, like, in a sketchy area, and I'm kind of, like, you know, like, oh, shit, you know, like, I don't know the area. But then I'm, like, dude, like, at home, like, like I, worse. you know, it's, it's like, I, I'm not talking down like bad on it i'm not but it is a little sketchy like you know certain areas but you don't feel that though just because like you're from here mm-hmm. you know so it's almost like i don't want to like I, I i like being here and i like seeing the good in people here you know rather than like it definitely could get wicked here but yeah you know, put your yeah. head down and be a good person put your head down be a good person and uh, takes pay me. for your aunt's tab at the bar <laughs> yeah. right shit like that yeah man i wish i would have been there so you could i would take care of it yeah Three hundred dollars. Wow. I would have been like, bring the class out. <laughs> yeah, I got bring you. the class out. Whatever you want, man. Seventy-two, bro. Forty-two. Forty-two. Nineteen forty-two. <laughs> I said seventy-two. Man, yeah. fuck. Fuck. Fucking, we'll open another class. Fucking class. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Before take another uh, record. Oscar's time. gonna take it with you though. Low key. Yeah, bro. Is it? Oh yeah. yeah. I have another one. Or just put yours, bro. Like in the center, if you can. Yeah, we went that long. Oh shit! No, <laughs> is that a lot? Uh, that's cool. Take that. Cheers, man. Thank you for coming on, man. Thank you for having me, brother. Thanks for having us. Been a long first time podcast, coming. bro. I know, long time coming. I appreciate you sending the invite that you did. Yeah, that, that long message. It was heartfelt. It made me feel good. Bro. Came from right here. Oh, I know it did. Yeah, definitely wasn't a copy and paste. <laughs> it was AI. Whole time to, it was AI. How to, how to invite somebody to a podcast. <laughs> Man, it worked. It worked. We, we got him. We're here. We got him. Telling you, bro. First episode, season two, we needed a superstar. We got him. He came. Superstar to make it. Nah, he's there. He's there. We're working. Tied me up. Came on, showed his showed his real name, not his stripper name, right? Yeah, real name. Always. And uh now we're here. So Appreciate you coming on, bro. Thank you, bro. And hopefully, man, like, you know, we can, like, link up after this. and Yeah, we'll check in soon. Yeah, for sure, bro. Yeah. Appreciate sure. you guys for tuning in. Thank you, guys. Don't forget that little bet. If it, this video gets more than, what, 500, 500 views? 500, 500. Oh, you would do. Yeah, let's get that. Person. Let's get that to 5,000. 5,000. Can you imagine? I feel like for every 500, you owe me 20. So. You get 5K views on this video? Uh-huh. I got another bet for you. 5K views, I'll give you a full day session. For you That's or your girl. Crazy boys. It. That's crazy. Let's do it. And girls. Let's do it. Boys and 5K. girls. 5K. Mamas and daughters, daddies and sons. Yes. Yeah. I'm a 
the whole time I'm gonna watch it like five thousand times. <laughs> I just have it on loop. Like, I have loop. it on each of these TVs. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> nah, but yeah, bro. Appreciate you coming on, man. And uh, you know, hopefully uh, down the road we catch up with you again oh, and yeah. keep killing it out there, bro. You too, bro. All right, man. Much I should come with you like ten times already, but thank you, bro. All right, thank you guys, man. Hit that Shouts like button. Shout out to the Hear Me and Beer Me f- uh, fans. Yes, sir. My followers, everybody. Yes, sir. Hit that button and watch it. We out. Here we go. Because that's it. Yeah.